Hello folks, welcome back to the show here on Flake Director. I give you guys the latest that happened in movie news throughout the week, and then I give you guys my personal take on the matter at hand. I'm your host, Austin Punham, and starting out this week is some news that's been gestating for years. Fans of this two film series, they've been waiting for a third one to see if it would be coming out for the longest time, and then finally it was announced that Bill and Ted Face the Music is shooting this summer for a summer 2020 release date. To which, hell freaking yes! Bill and Ted is a film franchise, or I guess is a series of two films, that I did grow up as watching. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure is one of the funniest sci-fi comedies out there. And Bill and Ted's Bogus Adventure is still a lot of fun, but it's not nearly as good as Excellent Adventure. I mean, seriously, who could I forget the... WILD STALLIONS! George Carlin, as we all know, since he suddenly passed away years ago, he would not be able to play his role of Rufus in Bill and Ted 3, and they did announce that they would not recast that role, which honestly makes me very happy, because really, no one else could play that role other than George Carlin. Scripts have been going and gestating until finally one day, just this past week, Alex Winter, Keanu Reeves, came on screen to say that, hey guys, Bill and Ted, it's finally coming out, to which, you know what, that put a huge smile on my face. I'm so happy it's finally coming out, and it's easily one of my most anticipated movies of next year, next to Dude in the Christopher Nolan movie. Wow. I assure you, I'm stacking Bill and Ted next to Nolan and Denis Villeneuve, but it's Bill and freaking Ted. How can't I? Funny enough, I was just mentioning Christopher Nolan. That's actually our next news story revolving around the new Christopher Nolan IMAX event film. Now, we don't have any details on the plot, even though that would have been cool to see a North by Northwest meets Inception movie. I would have... That would be cool to see. But he has been casting, and three particular people have been announced. One of them being John David Washington. I need to see him in Black Klansman. I know I need to watch it. Then we also have Robert Pattinson, which is a really interesting casting choice. But then we have Elizabeth DeBecky, if you guys have seen her in Widows, which she was phenomenal in. But it comes to Robert Pattinson, the only things I have seen him in is Twilight. Yeah, but in terms of other films, I've heard he's amazing and good time. There's one film that looks amazing that A24 is distributing. I can't remember what it's called, but it looks amazing. But yeah, that's all I have for the moment for Christopher Nolan's new film because details are kept in such secrecy that I guarantee you when something about the plot is revealed, everyone's gonna lose their minds, and well, including myself, because with Christopher Nolan, anything about his films are announced, people will lose their minds because Christopher Nolan, his name himself is an event. And of course, yeah, I'm looking forward to this film because it comes out next summer. And with this cast already, you bet your ass I'm excited about this one. So something I try and do every week is that I try and find something cool that people have done in the movie world. And I found this and I just thought, Holy crap, how did he do this? So there was a high school in New Jersey, North Bergen High School, I believe that the name is. Yes, North Bergen High School, because I didn't want to butcher that name because these guys are awesome. Apparently for their spring play, they adapted Alien. Yeah, let me repeat that. North Bergen High School in New Jersey adapted the film Alien, yes, the r horror film that really Scott made into their high school spring play. That is insane. Whoever organizes the plays there, you are amazing, to somebody say that much. They have balls because apparently they did include the chest burster scene. Yeah, that scene from the film, they played that scene in front of an entire audience. I love these guys. How cool is that that these guys got to adapt an R-rated horror film for their spring play? That is awesome. Awesome. And for our final news story of the week, we have some trailer news, and this trailer is for a film that is my most anticipated film of the year, and that is Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And even though it's a teaser, it's everything that I need. Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Margot Robbie, along with just other shots of Hollywood in its glory days. We do get one shot of the guy who's playing Charles Manson. I didn't even realize it was him. There's not too much to go on here because like I said, it's a teacher trailer, but we do get some glimpses of the relationship between Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt because you know, Leonardo DiCaprio in the movie plays an actor on a Western TV show where Brad Pitt plays a stunt double. We also get a guy that's playing 
a pretty well done impersonation of Bruce Lee. I mean, oh my god. And the humor in this trailer had me dying, especially when this girl at the end of the trailer goes into Leonardo DiCaprio saying, that's the best acting in my whole life. And he said, thank you. And then Leonardo DiCaprio just says, but it also will say, man, Margot Robbie looks incredible as Sharon Tate. I mean, wow. Tarantino, bring it the hell on. Seriously, couldn't be more excited for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's show. If so, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell for whenever a new video from us goes live. If you guys enjoyed any of our previous two videos, please click either right there or there. And of course, until next week's show, we'll see you guys next week. Have a great week, guys.